Let me see what you got. You got some chocolate. What is it? Mom, if, if you want to go, it's here. Wait. So, so far we walked into two barber shops. I had to muster up that courage, get over my anxiety. And both of them were super busy and said, come back later. So now we'll just head into the library, I guess. Hopefully an hour flies by. But seeing that Easter Bunny was really, really cute and I definitely think brightened their spirits up. How's the taste? I didn't try the pineapple yet. Okay, so far. I want a bite. It's Thank you. Juicy. It's juicy and sweet. It's juicy and sweet. So we'll just sit and wait. Do some library. Go ahead, go. No language. Go. What are you looking for? What you finding? Is this a T or an F? F. The fairy. Princess. She wishes I could see myself the way she sees me. She says I'm just as special as the rest of the family. You're reading, We're gonna color some eggs now. It's a long time later and we kind of had a rough day. It just kind of flew by and it felt like we did a lot even though we really didn't do a lot. But so I had to get more eggs from the store and of course they only had brown eggs. I'm like, what? So I still had some of these ones left over so that was good. I rinsed this pan so I don't have, I have no idea what that little floaty thing is in there but whatever. Hopefully none of these crack. Oh my god, the water's hot already. Float, float. I don't know, I'm hoping the color comes out on the brown eggs a little bit. I have this egg coloring kit left over from last year, so that's good. And it says it creates 36 eggs, and then you can do a game out of it. So I'm really excited. Those are the little stands, the eggs, and you can do glitter and stickers. So it should be fun. Oh, 
I'm talking about, um, did the eggs come from, um, our house, the shop, or, um, yeah, the buy yeah. eggs? Mom, do you know what a moderator is? Are these ones Do you know what a moderator is? What is it? You said you can't tell me that? Yeah, one. Yeah, one. Um, a moderator? What about quack? A mom, um, a developer, somebody who helps make the game. Mm. A moderator is some is somebody who like has admin, like an yeah. admin person. Mm. But like they're they also like 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 the owner, like they have admin commands, and the owner and the developers know them really well. So like they're they're technically so mom, they're technically like a beginning developer, like a newborn developer. Right. Cause I'm not doing the job. And I'm friends with one. Good job. Cool. If you want to pick it, yeah. Mom. Yeah. If you want more glitter than just green, you can get some from my think out in the living room. I mean, at home. In your room. Because we only have green glitter and. This one doesn't come, this one doesn't do cups, so. I'm interested to see. What do you mean cups? Usually each color goes in one cup, right? You yeah, in my cup. Oh. Yeah. But this one you just kind of rub it on, kind of like a tie dye. Right? So, so we're all going. So mom, so we just have to put um this glitter on every single leg. No, that's good. But it only comes with green, blue, and red. Green, green, blue, and red. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I like how this egg is looking, Mom. Touchdown, hit him with the touch, hit him with the touch, hit him with the touch, hit him with the touchdown, hit him with the touchdown. Into your a bug? Yeah, it went into your coffee. Oh my goodness. You going that way? Yeah, we're I think I could be more curious than nature cat. Yeah, they being crazy? They chilling, chilling, just like us.
honey, you're hot, hot. You gotta search. Oh. Yeah, yo. You got four? <laughs> I got four again. No, you got that's two. She got two. <laughs> that means you go yeah. to that means you go to sixteen. <laughs> that's two. That was two rand. That was two. That's a one. One, one, one. one. No, red, that was one. Bye bye. Seventeen. Nope. Nope. Yeah, mom. You're the. You're one of the doors. I'm me. The fairest one of all. So I'm out walking. I gotta run some errands. I'm loving how the earth is turning into spring and it's just really, really helping my mood. And I just love going for walks, like hours and hours of walks. Like I could just do that for the rest of my life. And I just got a coffee and I usually just get the Girl Scout cookie, which is basically just Thin Mint cookie, like the Thin Mint one. And I've just been like fixated on that. but. I tried pistachio this time around and it looks good and I added a little bit of mocha because I don't know I'm just being like I just saw a bunny run by oh my gosh I don't know I just I feel like I'm being so F-A-T I'm always like eating cheese I've been eating sugar but that's why I love to go for walks and just kind of like burn everything off and I pretty much eat like a like a 50-50 type of situation i would say i definitely like make it a priority to eat healthy as well so a coffee every now and then is not going to kill me i like to take coffee breaks as well too i gotta take one soon so i've been kind of like <sighs> reminding myself of that but then yesterday was easter and i needed like extra caffeine and today i'm out running errands and i needed extra caffeine so yeah i'm walking up a hill right now so those are my exercise is and just what makes me feel good. So let's do the taste test. Mm. I think I would have liked it a little bit better without the mocha, but it does taste good. I feel like I'm almost forcing myself to like be all about pistachio since it's just all around us but I do like the taste of pistachio I like pistachio cookies um so I do like this but I feel like I maybe just didn't even need the mocha I was thinking I needed it it makes it taste more chocolatey and like decadent where I think I really just wanted like that smooth pistachio but yeah so now I know
these masks right here are so fire like they work so well and they're from the dollar tree come on ding ding what you doing ding ding girl What? These Evian waters, I swear I feel like they were making me sick. Like, I feel like they make my head hurt or something, or I don't know. It says it comes from, like, snow. And I'm one of those people. Like, you know what they be putting in the snow. So, I don't know. I feel like this made me not feel good the past couple of days. Um, not just this, obviously, but... um. I thought it was good water. I never really bought it, so I bought it this month. And it has calcium, magnesium, potassium, chloride, silica, sulfates, bicarbonates, minerals, electrolytes. It says it comes from the French Alps. Snow from the French Alps. I feel like this was making me sick. So I'm definitely not going to buy this again. Maybe like one summer day, see how it works for me, but... I don't know, maybe it was the plastic bottles too. They have this in a glass, I think. So, I don't know, but I feel like this is making me sick. Thank you 
guys so much for watching another vlog welcome back thank you um so it's tuesday now i'm out walking again errands and it's kind of cold today kind of nip so um i'm like spring you gotta come on now i'm so ready for summer um i've made the decision that i want to fast today and i've it's been on my mind for like the last couple months now but i've been putting it off because i as a mom like i have to be up and ready for stuff so when you fast like you really just need to conserve your energy and you're probably gonna get like a headache and stuff like that and especially since today's gonna be day one me starting over with no coffee i take coffee breaks pretty regularly but still like if you have like a week of coffee and then one day you don't like your body's dependent on it so this will be day one of like starting over a coffee break as well as just a full on as well as just a full on fast so yeah i always walk so that's good i won't have problems there so i usually fast for like a good five hours anyways and then i'll eat like around lunchtime but usually i'll have a coffee to sustain me so right now i'm thinking crossing this little intersection here um right now i'm thinking that i'll buy a juice i'll walk to the store and i'll buy a juice at least so that jesus oh my god <laughs> like, i have my phone like barely pointing at me and cars are still driving by looking at me oh my god and i do like have a little bit of like social anxiety so maybe i'm just like oh my god the cars are staring at me but <laughs> um what was i saying i just love certain streets that i walk down i've walked down them like seventy thousand times but um i've been walking down them ever since the seasons have been changing and stuff and i'm just so excited for summer um what am i saying oh something about the fast i remember now i was saying that i'm gonna get a juice from the store i'm gonna walk to the store and at least get a juice so i can at least not be a hundred percent fasting on day one day one and i'm not like fatigued or anything and um especially while i'm walking or whatever and have to get the kids from school later so i'm gonna get at least a juice i was gonna go to the juicery but i actually don't even know if it's still there i think it's still there but i'm like let me not spend like twenty dollars on a large juice and just go to stop and shop and get a juice and it'd probably be a little bit like pulpy stuff in there but that's all right um yeah and then i know like you're really not supposed to like tell about fasting tell anyone that you're gonna fast because then like all the trials and tribulations are just gonna come and try to mess you up but that's what i decided today and so it's probably just gonna be another down day yesterday running around the world for my mom and you guys saw a little bit of it but like i was like on every side of town like and i was wiped when i got home so worst vlogger ever i got the kids from school my mom had got me a sandwich i live with my mom um she got me a sandwich a pastrami sandwich from the um breakfast cafe that's down the street from us for years like this cafe has been ride or die for me and all my friends and um a while while back they changed like owners or chefs or something and it kind of switched up but the lunch menu is still hitting like real good so i don't know what it is about their pastrami sandwich like i what is pastrami i think it's like pork which is not good but that's the point like i want to fast because i really need to just reset my body and stuff and get ready for summer um their pastrami sandwich yo is they be hit in like i don't even know what they do to it it just tastes so good so i had that it's on like a really like big um hamburger bun but it's like it's just so good i don't know it doesn't taste like a regular white 
bread hamburger bun and the cheese be hitting and the fries be hitting so i had that sandwich and fries and then our neighbor slash friend slash my son's friend they they've been like growing up together they live right down the street from us um she gave us brownies she made brownies so i had one of her brownies i don't know if she made it from like a box or something or scratch she probably made it from the box but it was so good like, again i was like yo what is in this brownie why is it so good so i had that and then i just laid it down and i had to um go to bed early and put the kids to bed early because my son um there was a lot of construction so i was saying i just went home i just laid down and um we had to go to bed early anyways everybody had to go to bed early because my son had mcas this morning so i wanted to make sure he got a good night's rest and i know you can see my double chin and <laughs> it's because the angle that i kind of had the phone at but let's see if it kind of goes away by the end of this fast um because if i if i have to eat like then whatever but i at least need to just get a jump start on it and i just want to try to get to the point um less and less like if i do have to eat or something um i still just want to like start today less 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 no coffee and get to a point where i can do at least three days fully but my goal is four days fully so we'll see um yeah i'm just walking and if i go that way or that way um I'll make it to stop and shop but I kind of just want to keep on walking not that way the opposite way and just kind of go further and just walk a little bit more before I get the juice because I want it to be more of like a 11 30 12 type of um nutrients in my body like I want to take it around <laughs> this is why I can't like like regular sit down videos talking about bath and body works and stuff like you guys even see me in those videos like i just be like i don't even know what to say but yeah i'm just walking for now i'll get some clips of things look a little squirrely i just love like i've been doing this just walking around a because i don't have a car so i have to walk around and b just for um that's just what i like to do but I'm cl I've clearly lived in this city my whole entire life so I know it like the back of my hand but also like the past couple of summers like the last two summers and winters and falls like I've just been walking around and I just like discover like so many new streets look at those flowers over there I just discover like so many new streets and I just look at all the houses and all the architecture and like right now I'm walking by the Adams. I think it's the Adams. The Adams is over by the Dunkin' Donuts that's near me, but this is like also something about the Adams, I think. I don't know, some type of historical um, houses or whatever. But yeah, um, and that's just like my hobby. Like I really just like to walk around and like, yeah, I really just love to walk around like and just look at like i go down new streets and i just like i don't know what it is i just love looking at like houses and i love seeing like what kind of yards and front yards they have and like what kind of decorations they have on their door or i like seeing like quincy just has a lot of i don't know it's like i don't know it's like built from the old days or something like everything's built from the old days it doesn't make sense but you know what i'm saying like it just has a lot of like my my thing that i'm really resonating with is like cottage core aesthetic stuff nowadays um i've always been like that like ever since i was little but <clears throat> i don't know and i just feel like quincy just has a lot of like just, like the houses are built that way some of them like some streets and then like just some like yards have nice flowers or they'll have like a little well in front or they'll have like i don't know the statues or little angels and like um some like um what are those things called like i forget what they're called like bridges like little bridges i don't know like cottage core aesthetic stuff i gotta press the button and yeah that's just what i like to do i like to look at all like the little details of just 
the streets and the houses and the yards and I, I'm just a mom so like I like seeing like if there's toys in the backyard or if there's a basketball hoop or something and now that it's spring of course like I love just seeing the birds and hearing the birds and seeing the squirrels and the little bunnies and I love the weekends when they're home from school my kids so that we can go for walks and sometimes they don't like it but <laughs> um I mean we have no car so I just try to make the best of it and like um just always do something in the summer go for walks on the weekend at least and then come home and they can like chill out on electronics because that's all kids want to do nowadays is just be in the electronics but I'm like no we got to get out in nature we got to get that sun on our bodies and feel the wind stuff and take it all in and just really appreciate you know life and then you can go home and <laughs> do roblox and all that and yeah I, I do I do struggle with anxiety and I have for a while and I feel like just trying to do the vlogs is just a little bit more into my life show you guys and just a way for me to I don't know just get my thoughts together sometimes like if I feel like I want to I, I do feel like I want to speak on things but I just feel like I'm not really the person to speak on them I feel like why would anybody listen to me and I know this is a whole nother topic but I don't know I just feel like um I don't know I just feel like I just feel happy with spring coming and I want to just put more energy into just being a better person, being a better me. I really, really fail and struggle at like anger and anxiety and depression every now and then. And I feel like I know a lot of us, we all do. But if you do, I would love to just create a community on here. I don't know just build friendships on here and I want to talk about different things if that makes sense if you feel me that I'm saying that's what I was saying but yeah I'm just walking and I do have things I have to do I have to like um, do all this stuff for my mom I have to get stuff for me but yeah I'm just gonna go for, yeah I'm just gonna go for a walk oh my god there's a guy he's in the tree Oh my goodness. Oh my god, there's another guy in the tree and he saw me filming him. He was just like looking at me and I just smiled. But yeah. There goes the train. Alright you guys, I won't talk your ear off anymore. I'm just gonna be walking and when I go in the store. I'll show you what juice I get and maybe I'll get like three at least so I can have some for tomorrow and I hope you guys enjoy my little vlogs I've been walking by the past couple of days like fresh mulch and it smells nasty um, so I'm just walking another thing I wanted to mention was <clears throat> like even this morning you guys saw it was kind of a chaotic morning like trying to get everything everybody ready and stuff for school and um being a young mom and I, like i've definitely um went through some some shit <laughs> and um i'm just doing the best i can and i definitely feel like i could be a lot better and i've been on this like type of journey of just bettering myself being more aware slash spiritual journey like I've everything that I might start talking about or mentioning whether it's in a vlog or a video like it's not anything that oh I just heard on Instagram or tick or YouTube because I do listen to people on YouTube as well like um that talk about stuff that I like obviously um, but anything that like I talk about soon or mention, it's not something I just heard on Instagram or a reel or like somebody said it, like, even though it's all intertwined, 
like the information's out there so everybody knows the information but anything that i mention it's not because i just heard it like i've been i always go back to 2017 was when i really feel like i started to pretty much wake up and just realize my problems my faults realize who i am what i like um but anyways just because like you realize or you wake up or you understand yourself it just doesn't mean that life is gonna like change dramatically or that you're gonna change dramatically like when people talk about inner work like I don't know honestly I don't know I do know what they mean but like like I said 2017 was a long time ago now it's 2024 and I'm still still going through the same cycle still struggling in different ways with the same stuff that i've been aware of i feel like awareness is number one because you can't you can't fix something if you're not even aware of it if you're just delusional to it right i don't want to um like spend too much time like talking about it like oh my problems let me tell you my problems but i'm just saying like um my point is when I sit down and I'm making content about Bath and Body Works and stuff, like I started pretty much, those are glimpses of who I am, right? And I come off really super bubbly, really super happy because it is, and it's because I really am super happy. I f- I'm feeling energetic about it. I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling bubbly. I'm feeling my feminine um side shining through because i'm talking about something i love i had the time to do it so there's nothing distracting me you know i'm relaxed and whatever whatever and maybe i put some makeup on or something i don't know just to feel good and then make the video and i'm I'm in a high energy mood and i'm happy i'm talking about something i love i really do love smelling good and fragrance but i just wanted to show a different side of me with the vlogs and stuff and maybe speak a little bit more about my personal life um just so that you know it's not like coming off as fake or whatever to i don't know just me I, it's just my anxiety like thinking like oh like you're being fake on youtube but i'm not even because a happy version of me is still me but i just wanted to also mention like that those videos aren't just me pretty much if that's the that's what I'm saying like I those are me and I'm happy and energetic when I'm making those videos but also like off the camera in real life there's a lot of bad days pretty much bad days um I wouldn't say I'm the perfect mom I struggle a lot I don't um I pretty much just like sheltered myself from all friendships and communications and stuff the past couple of years and I know this is something that everybody has gone through once the world just shifted in the awful chaos of 2020 and i don't know hopefully you guys understand what i'm saying um that was on my mind that i wanted to mention look at this little minion thing so those are the types of things i just love seeing just little like decorations and stuff And without going too deep, I'll switch it over to something <laughs> a little bit more lighthearted. Um, when I'm walking, I have to like make sure I pull my eyeglasses down because with the uh, my, no, my eyeglasses, my sunglasses, because I feel like I'm not like satisfied mentally um, or solely like spiritually when I'm out walking. Like if I don't take in the actual real life colors of the world and of the the houses and the leaves and the trees and the flowers and stuff because with my sunglasses on obviously everything is like deeper it's more shadier but i have to really take in like the actual colors of the world because it's so weird and i know it has obviously some i know that there's like your body function that why you need to take in like sunlight and stuff in the daytime because if you're just tricking your eyes with like nighttime vision pretty much all day like your circadian rhythm is going to get messed up messed up so i know it has to do with like that your circadian rhythm but like 
I feel like just me personally also like it's like my <laughs> my soul like I just don't feel satisfied or enriched unless I see the actual colors of what I'm looking at and really taking in the nature and you guys are gonna think I'm a um <laughs> what do they call those people I don't know a whack job you guys are gonna think I'm a nut but like I don't think I ever went down this hill before. This hill's huge. Oh my gosh. So yeah. I hope that you guys understood what I was saying. <laughs> Like, I just want to basically not only portray one side of me, even though that is a part of me, and it's not fake to just have videos of me happy and talking about something I love, but I also want to incorporate videos where I'm talking about things that stress me out, like this life of ours and motherhood, or just not necessarily, obviously those things stress me out, but... I just want to point out that I'm not 100% happy and smiley all the time. And that's obviously okay because life is going to do what life does. And I just want um, others to know that, you know, you have a friend in me. I fail you. I understand. And I've been through a lot. And I'm 26, going to be 27 this month. I've been through a lot. Um, pretty much brought about from my own doing, but I have been through a lot, so I can resonate with a lot of different people on a lot of different things, and I feel you, and I just want to start being more open about different things in my life. Not only did I get the worst shots of grabbing these products, um, I really wanted a green juice, like a green one with like green apple, but I didn't really see one that I wanted. So right now I picked up this new drink I never tried. I don't know if it's new, but I never tried it. Organic Dr. D's. And I was like, Dr. D's, I gotta get that. <laughs> um, probiotic drink, tart cherry. I'm like, what? of the tart cherry so um yeah you guys not only like am i wanting to just hear god a little bit better um by doing the fast like i it's mostly just for like resetting my body um clearing out some gunk and whatever whatever so i'm hoping that this isn't gonna be like too too bad on my stomach or make me like super hungry or whatever and like jump start my metabolism or whatever I'm hoping it just kind of takes me through the day and then later on I'll have some water and just try to go to bed early. Um, that's going to be key to um, your fast. If you do ever try to fast, go into bed early so that you're not up. Like just um, going throughout more hours, like starving and whatever. Um, pretty much, I don't know, starving is a bad word. Putting yourself through torture is a bad word. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but definitely um, go to bed earlier. Maybe I'll just make some tips by the end of it because this isn't the first time I fasted. I've fasted before a um, couple of times and for almost seven days before. So I've done this before. I know I can handle it. 
it's just that I need to just take it slow. So, like I said, I'm hoping this doesn't, like, um, make me dizzy or anything. I've never tried this before. And I'm also mad I didn't get a straw. I don't feel like putting my mouth on that. But let's do a taste test. Kind of excited. It's good. It's tart. It's light tasting, like kind of refreshing. Tastes more like uh more on like the watery side. I like it. I never I never heard of Dr. D's. That's so weird. I've never heard of it. I like this. It says it's all the good stuff. Gluten-free, dairy-free, caffeine-free, non-GMO, vegan, organic. It's got live cultures, sparkling water, cane sugar, water keeper cultures um pink himalayan salt lemon juice tart cherries yeah that's the only ingredients i like this 12 grams of sugar that's a lot of sugar but whatever um definitely for day one i'm just gonna sip on this um yeah i really like this replenish your body with handcrafted drink yeah I'm just gonna sip on this for like it's 11:10 now, so pretty much in the range where I wanted to start putting something in my body. I'm gonna sip on this. Probably will last me till like two when I get the kids, and then when I come home, I'm just gonna like drink a lot of water and hope for the best. Stop smashing out. Hi, you guys. So, really quickly, um, I'm out walking, running errands again, and it's really cold, and my fingers are really cold. So I just want to put my phone back in my pocket. So really quickly, yesterday was a good day. I got the kids from school. Um, they went to the park for a little bit, so that was nice. And I did go home and end up eating. Um, I, I honestly, it wasn't even like, it was like I kind of started feeling hungry, but it was more of a mental thing. Like I really could have gone without eating. It was more mental, like it was just like there. So I wanted to eat it. But I'm glad I did, and I told myself if, if I did eat, that's all right. Um, I just want to gradually work my way up into a nice, solid, like, water fast. Um, so, pretty much yesterday, I only had that probiotic drink, half of a turkey and cheese sub, and then a bite of chicken, and then um, water for the rest of the night. So, I did eat, and I'm glad I did, because I ended up having one of the, like, not one of the worst, but a really bad caffeine headache like when you go without caffeine you your body has to like um withdraw and it's crazy i had a huge boom in headache and it came on about like 4 45 and i didn't go to bed till like 8 8 30 so that whole time it was just like booming and construction's coming up um now it's wednesday it's a half day for my kids i'll be getting them soon so i had to go out really early and do what i gotta do um and today I actually feel good. I feel light. I feel happy. Um, but to be honest, this is like, this usually happens. Like, 
I usually have like one good week and I think it has to do with like my my menstrual cycles and stuff like I just got over a menstrual cycle so it's usually like the next week after that like I have one good solid week where like I'm in a good mood or whatever so I'm really just gonna ride this wave and enjoy it while it lasts um yeah I'll check in with you guys later I just walked in I'm gonna bypass that and I'm probably gonna have some oh it's way in the back so bomb 100 bomb debating on if I should bring them to school or not because it's like so windy and we were basically up all night uh, I still can't see oh my god it's so cold can you see there's the world it is crazy windy outside I mean it's not like we've never seen a storm before but and the school is close to us, but I can literally see the wind. Can't see it on camera, but. And I just don't feel like putting them through that. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like huge, huge gusts of wind. I can just see it. Oh my God, it's crazy. And it's been like that since all night. Just freezing winds. I don't know, we'll see. This is definitely gonna be like a test to see if I drink any coffee. Obviously I'm not gonna, I, I'm glad I got over the two day hump of like quitting coffee. Um, but it's those types of days, like I really wanna drink some coffee <laughs> or, or tea, anything, but I don't wanna have caffeine of any kind. And I did eat last night, so today is another day i'm really gonna try to push through and just not but these types of days is like the days when you want to just eat cozy up eat carbs so we'll see I definitely dropped some. <laughs> Today was a good day because I successfully ate nothing. 
it's 9 30 now and like for the past hour i just watched food reels and like tortured myself I just got home from like three towns over I went to Aldi's and I did enjoy it it wasn't as big as I thought it was gonna be but that's fine um, I got everything I needed and um, there was cheaper stuff there so it was a good shop um, I still spent more than I anticipated and I just like ended up with so much bags and I have to take a lift and everybody was looking at my gigantic cart and it was just a lot and I had to be home and the lift guy was so nice thank god I just got home and I am gonna drink some of my juice now um, this one here that I bought the other day this one it is cold pressed juice berry the lead cherry cranberry carrot strawberry raspberry mulberry and elder no bilberry I could have sworn it used to have elderberry, bilberry. I never heard of that. Um, yeah, I'm going to drink this, though, because I didn't eat anything yesterday, you guys, successfully. And then today's Friday, so it's the end of the week. I'm definitely going to end the vlog here. Um, thanks for listening to me spiel about stuff. I'm going to try to go another day for this fast um, today and Saturday. <sighs> but, you know... Yeah, I'm going to try to go another day, but um, maybe I'll update you guys in another vlog or whatever. Um, I hope you guys appreciate it. I'm going to give you this grocery haul and call it a day. Um, uh, these are fun, so if you guys like these, um, can, you should can you give me some suggestions of what you would like to see or what you would like me to talk about or um, more about my life if you want to know. Like, I've been through a lot, so maybe you guys would be interested in, like, some of the stories I have, um, not that they're interesting, they're just probably entertaining, so, yeah, I'm gonna drink this because I just want to make sure I don't, like, faint or anything, <laughs> oh my god, that was a lot. So yeah, um, I do a big monthly shop every month, so I get a lot of snacks for the kids, um, for their school and stuff so we got some fruit snacks some of those 100 calorie pack chocolate chip cookies some of these cheese dip crackers i got a bunch of fruit 
I was really excited about getting a bunch of fruit from there. Everything was a little bit cheaper. So I got some blackberries, some raspberries. I got two packs of blueberries here. And I got some of these fruit punch juices. And then I got a bunch of meat as well. I was really surprised. I got fruit and meat as well as snacks all from Aldi's when usually I spend so much and I haven't even gotten any meat or fruit yet at Walmart. So I got all those hamburgers, some um, beef stew, those pork chops for my mom. I got some fajita thin slice steak. These little ready-made meals, those chicken fajitas. I got chocolate frosted donuts, these cinnamon buns. They just looked really, really good. And I just feel like I got all this stuff for such a good price. Those ready-made meals that go in the fridge, those always come in handy for the kids. I got some freezer meals. I think I got two of these chicken biggie ranch ones, which I ate so far. I didn't really like it, but that's all right. Some of this granola was really, really good. I got Frosted Flakes. They are a different, um, like a generic brand, but that's all right. I got um, pepperoni, cheese sticks, these chicken and feta spinach sausages. I do like those. I got this seasoning for my avocado toast, wheat thins. I got this chocolate chip brioche bread. I was like, oh my God, that is so cool. I got strawberry jam. My, my daughter said she wanted strawberry jam and peanut butter jelly sandwiches. I got some linguine organic pasta, some spaghetti organic pasta. What else? I got some maple syrup. I got some meatloaf and potatoes frozen meal. You guys can see I got some healthy snacks. I got this beef jerky. I got cheddar cheese rice snacks. Those are really, really good. Uh, sweet potato chips. Those are really, really good. And that popcorn there. More whole wheat spaghetti. Um, this popcorn was really, really good as well. We've been eating that. And what else? What else? What else? What else? I got a bag of carrots. I eat these carrots just right. I don't chop them up or nothing. I just snack on it throughout the day, and it's a good snack. I got spinach. I got um, two things of raspberries, two things of blackberries, two things of blueberries, strawberries, two things. I got these four um, steak and cheese calzones I found there. I got some taco seasoning. I got these little steak um jerkies which is so good in the salad that i make um cinnamon toast crunch i just got so much stuff i it was a really good shop i got some ritz crackers the generic brand i got these um ritz cheese um for the kids so yeah it's a generic brand but that's all right it doesn't matter to me <laughs> i got this deluxe um macaroni and cheese kind of like Velveeta, i guess for the kids i got chickpea pasta to try I've eaten chickpea pastas before. Um, protein pancake waffles. Um, I'm so excited to try that. And I just need um, my son to get a lot more protein. I got these steaks. All those meats you saw. And then uh, plus these. It was such a good shop. And then I couldn't pass these up. <laughs> I got some almond butter because I want to slow down on the peanut butter. I think it breaks me out. I got some of these fruit punch um, little juice drops. Some sauce for all the pasta that mozzarella cheese for my salad i got um, banana peppers because they're just so good on sandwiches and salad i found some avocado oil i got some kombucha um what else what else i got crispy rice treats for the kids and their snack i just feel like i was so excited i just had a really really good food shop this is a generic brand of slim jims um again not everything is the healthiest but i definitely um, watch what my kids eat and I give them portions of anything that's super bad um, and yeah I got some good bread some more jerky um, this guacamole was so good I'm trying to savor every little bite um, more 100 calorie packs hopefully they like these I haven't given them to them yet 
um but either way like i forced them to eat healthy <laughs> i promise um i got some black forest turkey i don't know if i like that but i'm gonna try it out some genoa salami i know i like i got some feta and then i found these sushis um frozen sushis and i love sushi so i was so excited to find those i never have them at any of the grocery stores near us i found some bacon i got two cucumbers more macaroni and cheese my son really likes macaroni and cheese I got some shots, some little juice shots. I couldn't believe, like, I just got all this variety of things for, like, what I would usually spend at Walmart in, like, one go-around. <laughs> More chips and dip. I mean, crackers and dip. I got blue corn chips. I love those. I got these little spray cheeses for the crackers. Uh, more sauce i got some adobo i got some kombucha i got some buffalo wings for my son frozen buffalo wings some salsa for those blue chips i got some dates because i really want to try like the almond butter with them um takis are horrible but my son likes them um i got lettuce hearts some of that sushi again some another chicken bacon ranch i got pineapple apples i got green peppers two bags of the red and yellow peppers lemons avocados celery and what else did i grab another juice and the mixed berries what else did i grab i got a salmon i don't know why i said that i say salmon <laughs> um i got honey buns for their snack at school i got chicken alfredo another meatloaf another chicken alfredo and this is about it i think um some breakfast sandwiches in case i'm on the go i got some almond milk i got pears i got muffins for their snack or in the mornings i got french toast sticks for them they really like those i got kiwis i got another ready-made meal and a cantaloupe and a lot i just was so happy with this food shop and all these is definitely where it's at but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog i will see you guys in another one bye